Greetings and welcome to another exciting installment of Twin Flame Success Stories, where I show you that there are solutions, there are answers. Somebody figured it out. Here's the thing. You're in a lot of pain. You're really struggling with this connection. And you're sitting here thinking, why am I this fucked up off of this relationship? <laughs> off of this person that you met, right? It is earth shattering. And a lot of the stuff you get on the internet doesn't really seem to be helpful. It, I, I think most people online who want to help you with your twin flame situation, they seem sincere most of the time, right? Maybe not all, but most of them. But it, it just doesn't seem to resonate. It doesn't seem to help. You're still kind of in this searching mode. You're searching everywhere for answers. Well, guess what, guys? I got some good news for you. I went through the whole shit. Just like you, I met my twin flame and I went through the whole thing. All the running and chasing, the sleepless nights, the bawling myself to sleep every night, the fucking insane amount of like repeating number patterns and synchronicities. And then on top of all that, the desperately searching for answers everywhere on the internet and not getting anywhere with it. So I was in your position, guys. Well, guess what? I cracked the code on Twin Flames. I'm the world's number one Twin Flame coach. My Twin Flame is permanently in my life. I've got a bunch of students that are married to their Twin Flame with their Twin Flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs, manifesting abundance. Um, I've personally coached over 7,000 Twin Flames. Yeah, I kind of figured it out. So this video, this isn't a way for me to brag and boast. This is a way for me to reach out to you and help you out here. I was in your shoes, and I'm really tired of seeing you guys struggle and suffer with this. I want you to know that there are answers, and I've got a whole bunch of free stuff on my YouTube channel, and there's also paid coaching, which is extremely affordable and so thorough, guys. The paid coaching, you're going to get answers to all of the questions. The paid coaching video program is over 44 hours alone. So we'll get into that kind of at the end of the video. What I really want to do right now is show you some success stories, share some testimonials with you from real students of mine who it worked. It worked, guys. They're out of the painful, struggling, and suffering part like way out of it, okay? And their twin flame is chasing them around for a change. Doesn't that sound nice? Wouldn't that be a nice problem to have? Like your twin flame wants to be with you, right? How is that a problem? So the first one here, this is on my uh, Facebook page. And I, I do have this blown up. So pardon me with the aspect ratio if it looks kind of weird. I have this blown up just in case somebody is watching this video on their cell phone. I want you to be able to read this, but here's the, you can go look at this for yourself. So here's this post on my Facebook page uh, a couple weeks ago. And down here in the comments is one of my students, Jamie. And she said, my twin flame is currently obsessed with me. I did your program in 2020, walked away from all of it and literally don't care anymore. Peace is beautiful. I'm just being. By the way, or by the time they come back, you don't care. I never believed it back then. LMAO, right? Laughing my ass off. But you were right. Thank you, Kurt. And let me make sure you understand something here, you guys, because whenever I explain how this works, Twin Flames, when I explain it to people how it really works, contrary to what the internet is busy telling you, the way that it really works, it really takes people aback sometimes. So she's sitting here telling you that she doesn't really care. That's not really it. That's a, a good, quick way to explain it, but that's not quite it. But it's close. It's closer to the truth than kind of maybe where you're at right now. If you're still like really focused on this person and you really care about this person and you're really struggling and you're really super focused on this person. When she says, I don't care anymore. Again, that's closer to the truth. But what's really going on is you've transcended this 
duality of the mind and of emotions. Remember what everybody says. Your twin flame is your soul. So so why is her twin flame obsessed with her now? And she she could she's she's it, the way that she's describing it is closer to the truth, but she's saying I don't care anymore and that's not quite it. I'll explain what's really going on in a second, but you know, she's just trying to leave like a quick comment on my Facebook page and you could say that. You could say, "Yeah, I don't care." You could say that. It's not completely untrue. But the thing is, guys, her twin flame is chasing her around now. That's one of the things that I'm saying. And she's in so much peace. And she's just being, right? The peace is beautiful. I'm just being. By the time they come back, you don't care. And again, that's not 100% accurate. She knows that. But she knows what I know. And she's trying to explain it to you here using words. Words aren't great communicators with this stuff, okay? So she's doing soul stuff, and she knows that. So it's not really the opposite of caring, and it's not the opposite of I do of not caring, okay? It's spiritual, guys. Again, what does everybody say about twin flames? They are the same soul. That's what they say. No matter what anybody in the world is telling you to do about your twin flame. Everybody says the same thing about what twin flames are. They're going to tell you to do all this weird stuff, all this healing, clearing your karma, clearing your chakras, doing the mirror exercise, balancing your inner feminine and masculine, all this kind of stuff, you know, focus on belief, use manifesting techniques. There's all this stuff and a lot of you guys watching, you've tried a lot of that stuff, and it's not working. It just makes things worse, right? But regardless of what everybody tells you to do about the situation, all that different stuff I just named, regardless, the one thing everybody does say, and I mean everybody, no matter what they tell you to do, is that twin flames are the same soul. Okay, here's the deal with the soul. It's the oneness. It's not two. It's not the yin and yang. Yin and yang is fine, but the yin and yang, the duality, the feminine, masculine, plus, minus, light, dark, I care, I don't care. The, the duality, the opposites, right? I like it, I don't like it, I care, I don't care, right? That's all mental and emotional, and that's also how our physical universe works. Right. Albert Einstein described our universe in very similar terms. He called it relative relativity, things being relative, yin versus yang. Right. Light is only light relative to the dark. Caring is only caring relative to not caring. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just what that is. It's mental, emotional, and physical stuff. But the soul, my friends, which remember, you and your twin flame are the same soul. The soul is neither of those things. It's not I care and it's not I don't care. So when one of my students takes to Facebook, she doesn't want to type out a whole entire chapter from a book. She doesn't want to type out 15 paragraph explanation. <laughs> so she just says, well, I just don't care. Right. So like I said, it's closer to the truth. Because what you're doing right now is chasing and chasing and pining for your twin flame and trying desperately to figure it out, understand the mind, doing all this healing. And thinking and healing, that's all fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's not the soul, guys. That's the mind. And that's that's one of the biggest myths about twin flames that you see online is you got to do all this healing stuff. And healing is fine, but guys, that's psychology. It's not spiritual, but there certainly are a lot of people on the internet that put the label spiritual on it, don't they? But if you go ask any one of the great spiritual masters what spiritualism really is, they're going to say it's non-duality. It's not healing. It's not emotional. It's not thinking. There's nothing wrong with those things, but that's just not what it is. It's where you transcend the thinking and emotions, and you remember yourself as this deeper essence of consciousness, this 
being. I'm trying to adjust my camera here. You are this being. You are this divine essence, this timeless, formless, formless life. Literally, it's life. Consciousness, not thought, not emotion. It's consciousness. That's the soul. So that explains this other little statement that she made where she says, peace is beautiful and I'm just being. Right. And I explained to her a long time ago, obviously, she's one of my students. I told her, hey, man, it's not really caring or not caring. It's not like a soulmate relationship where you are concerned about the outcome. And I think that's what she's talking about is being concerned about the outcome. I care about the outcome because when you transcend the mind, you really don't care about the outcome. You really don't. And it's actually neither caring nor not caring. But again, I think she just doesn't want to make a 15 paragraph explanation, right? Which is kind of what I'm doing in this video. That's why I make these videos. It's easier to just talk than it is to type stuff out. But then she says, I never believed it back then, but you were right. Because I tell people that all the time. Yeah, you're not really going to care about the outcome. And that's the that's a closer to truth explanation than what you think it is. Just whether I care or not. Yeah, you kind of don't. Like if if you if an outside observer looked at one of my students, you would say they don't care. But what's really going on is you are remembering yourself as this deeper consciousness, which is going beyond the duality of the mind and emotions, which either cares or doesn't care. So it's not, I care so much, and it's not, I don't care. It's, yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah. I'm at peace, right? That's the soul, guys. Let's move on to the next one. I think you get what I'm trying to say uh, with Jamie here about the non-duality teachings. And again, all the great spiritual masters, they all say the same thing. Buddha, Jesus, Eckhart Tolle, Paramahansa Yogananda, Alan Watts, Michael Singer, right? Ram Das, uh, Krishnamurti. They all say the same basic thing. Spiritualism is beyond the duality systems of mind. That's the soul, guys. Everybody says your twin flame is the same soul as you, and it's true. They're actually one of your past lives. And if that sounds shocking to you, don't worry. We're going to get to that in a second. Okay, so here's Angel. I think you already read what she has to say here. Pretty straightforward. So she feels better. The suffering is over. She feels good. The obsessive thinking is gone. And she doesn't say anything about her twin flame, but I can only imagine that she's having a similar experience to Jamie over here whose twin flame is currently obsessed with her. What are they doing? They're not doing. They are being, you guys. This is why it takes so long for a spiritual teacher to explain non-duality. That's why it's a lot faster to just say, oh, you just don't care, right? Because an explanation is understanding. It's thought. It's the mind, right? And it's pretty straightforward. We all know what that stuff is. But to explain something that is beyond understanding, that takes quite a bit more work, guys. That's why spiritual teachers, you can still read books about this stuff. You could go read, you know, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle or Krishnamurti Reader or Untethered Soul or something like that. And it's a whole entire book, and they're trying to point you at something that can't really be explained. So we got to do this metaphorical dance around it. You can't explain being, but you can experience it, you guys. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to point you at something that you are, which is beyond all of this thinking and emotion. And... There's this language barrier. Words are duality. They are concept. So we're always dancing around this, this place that is no place. It is neither thing 
nor nothing. It is neither full nor empty. It is neither caring nor not caring. It is this essence, this formless being, which is you. That's your soul. There's nothing for you to figure out. You just are that. It's the mind with all of its thinking and emotion and its desire to understand and its seeking. You feel this pull. You feel this urgency, like I gotta, I, I gotta figure it out, Kurt. Right? Like you hear me talking and explaining this stuff, and you probably think this is all very interesting, but you've also got this emotional narrative. You feel this pull, like I, I just, yeah, Kurt, I, I, I hear you, but I just, I, yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, man, I just, I don't know. There's, there's got to be something else. Right. Like if I had to explain, describe the emotion that you're feeling sometimes, I call it the seeker. I'm giving you all the answers in the best conceptual way possible, but you also have this emotional narrative, which is not the soul. It's the ego mind. So there's another thing that you're kind of up against, too, isn't it? You hear this information and you still feel, I know there's just got to be something else. Uh, you're still like looking for information, right? That's not you. That's what I'm saying. That's not you. That's not the soul. That's the mind, guys. And I'm not saying that's bad. That's just what that is. And this is the mistake people on the internet make. They think that it needs healing. And you can do that. That's fine. But it's the mind. It's psychology, okay? None of that's going to help you here. If you want to do that, if you want to heal, I actually highly recommend it, but you don't need to do it at all. It's not necessary at all. And I've been saying this for six years, and there's always got to be somebody coming along going, well, yeah, but Kurt, here's the thing, though. You really do need to do healing and the blah, 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 blah. And... Here you go. Here's Jamie going, I never believed it back then, Kurt. I get that all the time. Kurt, I think you're wrong. You need to do all this healing in order to be spiritual. And I'm going, okay, try it. Try it your way. It doesn't work, guys. And again, what do all the great spiritual masters have to say? Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, Eckhart Tolle, Rupert Spira, Ram Das, Yogananda. What do they say? Same thing. You don't need to fix any of that stuff. You are not that stuff. You are consciousness. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Fixing that stuff, optional. Totally fine. Don't need it. Don't need it for your twin flame, guys. You might need it for a soulmate. This isn't soulmates, guys. Your twin flame is your soul, guys. Okay, next one from a YouTube video. I think I did this about 10 or 11 months ago. There was already a pretty good um, testimonial pinned to the top here, but I, I got a new one just the other day. It was so good that I wanted to share it with you from Star Wolf here, the second guy. I'll read both of these, uh, but let's do the new one here. So uh, Star Wolf, he says, I can attest to your teachings like a jump start to a car battery. I was actually able to jump start my reincarnation. And he's talking about his twin flame, right? Because they are your past life. And again, I'm going to show you how that is true. If that's shocking or fascinating sounding kind of a thing, right? How can my twin flame be my past life? Well, we'll get to that. So just, just stick with me here, guys. After a few days of performing your teachings, she actually texted me. Now, I got excited and she dipped out. But that's okay. And this is something that's totally expected, totally normal. There's going to be an ebb and flow, right? Your twin flame comes back, you get attached, and they pull back again. And then you go, oh, 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 okay. So then you go within again, detach, transcend the mind, and they come back again. And they might even pull away again, but not as much. And then they come back. And then they pull away just a little bit, and then they come back. And then, right, it's it's like an ebb and flow. It's part of the process, right? Totally normal. My twin flame did it. My students, their twin flame. 
There's this ebb and flow. Okay. So, and he knows that that's part of my coaching program, but what's important to notice here is he tried my teachings and it started working right away, right away, right away, guys. And so what I would say to this fellow is just keep going. And again, my uh, paid coaching, and I don't know, he might have just watched the free stuff. He doesn't really say uh, if he is doing the paid coaching or not. But uh, the paid coaching, I definitely take you all the way to the end, all the way to the end. You just got to keep going. But guys, it does work. It does work. When he performed my teachings, she texted him. You guys, I, there's people on my YouTube channel all the time. Their twin flame had them blocked. And I'm going to show you some of those people. So you got no way to get a hold of your twin flame at all. They, they have you blocked. You can't even text them. But you don't need to. You don't need to talk to them. You do this inner work, which actually technically is not work. <laughs> That's just a figure of speech. Kind of like I don't care is just a figure of speech, right? You actually, you, you go beyond that which wants to do work. The mind is action. The mind is a worker. You, the soul, the real you, the soul, consciousness, right? You are not that. This is a remembrance, my friends. You are just being. There's no doing. You are just being. Let's move on. This fella here, I probably already covered this one, but here we are. Why not? I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but after watching your videos, my twin flame and I are now being together. Well, it's not a coincidence. You and your twin flame are the same soul, my friends. Also, there's this whole entire playlist of videos, just like the one you're watching. You are now watching video number 72. If you want more, guys, come and check them out. I, I don't know. There's 17,000 people that are watching this playlist. Guys, what I think matters are the teachings, obviously, because I've been talking about the teachings in this video, right? I think that's what's important. I think that's what proves whether or not what I'm saying is true. And I'm even going to give you the cheat code here. I'm going to show you a video that you can watch to show you how you can tell that what I'm saying, what I'm explaining to you, what I teach to you about twin flames are the true twin flame teachings. I'm actually going to show you this video in a second. This is how you can tell that I've got the correct teachings. There's a way that you can verify what I'm teaching you here. But some people, they like proof. They want to see the evidence. Kurt, if your teachings really work, give me the proof. Well, that's this video, guys. Twin Flame Success Stories, 7,000 students that I've coached. I've got students that are married to their twin flame. And these aren't the only ones, you guys. I've got lots of students that are married to their twin flame. It's just very difficult to get people to agree to give up their privacy and make a live appearance on my YouTube channel. But for every one of the people that have shown up on my YouTube channel, there are hundreds and hundreds, you guys. And a lot of them do actually come onto my YouTube channel like these people and leave a comment, uh, a testimonial like these two gentlemen. And they're all over my YouTube channel, guys. There's so many of them. There's thousands on my YouTube channel. So that's kind of what this video series is all about. I've been doing this for six years, this coaching program. So if you're interested, there's a ton of proof. And there's so much of it, it's like, you don't even need to go watch all these videos. You can. There's just a whole bunch, guys, of people that I've personally helped on this very painful and confusing journey. They're married to their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs. Go check it out. By the way, I do reuse many of the thumbnail pictures you might notice. I do reuse them, but these are all unique individual videos. And there's now 72. And I only do so many of these, you know, 
Well, I shouldn't say that. There's a bunch. <laughs> you know, six years, guys. 72, that's how many? 72 weeks? I mean, that's a year's worth of videos spread out. Ever. I think I've been doing these videos for four years. Yeah, there's the first one. Four years ago is when I started doing this video series. It's just unreal. And there's even more testimonials. Look at this. You go to my website, and there's even more. NewWorldAllStar.com. <laughs> it's unreal, you guys. Look at this. So here's these lovely ladies. We just kind of saw them already. But let's go down here. Here's Rooksar again. Here's Hannah. I joined the introduction to the journey. That's my paid coaching. And after one week, my came my twin contacted me and came to meet me to talk. Here's SJ. Before I could even finish watching the videos, my twin flame came to be with me. Claire, within four to five weeks of practicing Kurt's methods and attending online calls, my twin unblocked me. She's got no way to get a hold of the guy at all. You don't need to talk to them. You don't need to have a conversation with your twin flame, guys. You transcend the mind. It's not inner work. It's not doing spiritual work. That's just a figure of speech. You're Again, you're actually transcending the mind. It's transcendentalism. You're letting go of that which wants to do, 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 or not do. Action, inaction. Caring, not caring. It's actually neither of those. It's non-duality. It's the oneness. It's not the yin-yang. The yin-yang is fine, but that's the mind. It's the one. It's unity consciousness. That's where the word union comes from, right? Same thing here. Tanja, one year after booking, my twin flame unblocked me. Jessica, same thing. My twin flame came back. This just goes on and on and on. There's also a lot of people that, again, people, they like their privacy. They were not comfortable leaving a picture. So there's a whole bunch of text-based testimonials. You just come down here and click this button. It says, see more testimonials. And I've got the students who have their picture featured on here. as, well. But there are dozens more that weren't comfortable leaving a picture, totally fine, totally understandable. But look at what Krista here had to say. Thanks to New World All-Star, I am in a solid relationship with my twin flame. Let's see. This is Claire again. Here's Carissa, another person. Uh, wanted to stay anonymous, totally fine. The internet is a strange place, <laughs> so I totally get it. It's been five months. I feel great, and my twin flame unblocked me and wants to talk. Again, has no way to get a hold of her. Took my program, and within five months, something happened. This person, Vina, same thing. It's been six months. My twin flame came back. And guys, this just goes on and on and on. Here's Abby. Here's Simret. Here's Dina. April. CM. And I don't think you can see the little scroll bar on the right-hand side of my screen. But I got to tell you guys, we got a ways to go. Okay? There's a ton of testimonials. Like I said, what I think counts are the teachings. But some people, they like proof. They want to see evidence. Kurt, show me that your stuff actually works. No problem. No problem. I got a ton of it, guys. Now, let's talk about some free resources. If you're still not really sure, if, if you're curious, you want to find out what I'm all about. Okay, Kurt, show me the goods. You got free stuff? Hook it up. All right, no problem. Let's start with this video. Twin Flames, Separation Consciousness, Unity Consciousness, as in Union, and Detaching. So, everybody in the so-called Twin Flame community online is using those words, separation, 
union and detaching. Why? Don't you think that's kind of weird? Because see, here's the thing. Everybody thinks that separation, union, and detaching are like relationship status with your twin flame or something, right? Is it? Why would you do that? Why would you? Do, have you ever, like, think about your great grandma or your great grandpa or just your grandma, grandpa, right? Or even your parents or your best friend or your coworkers. Who does that? Like, oh, I met this person. We dated for a month and then they took off. We're in separation. I got to get into union. Like, like who does that? Why would you use those words to explain the situation? You don't. Nobody does that. Most people, all everybody, they would just say, oh, we broke up or we're together. Why does it have to be separation or union? Why are twin flames using those words? And by the way, what's detaching? What the hell is that? And don't you think it's interesting most people on the internet, they're going to give you all this stuff to do. There's the mind again, doing, 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 thinking, 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 healing, doing, outcome. I got to heal. I'm here. I got to get there to the outcome to be healed. I got to do healing. I got to go somewhere with this. There's an outcome. That's duality. I'm here. I got to get there. That's duality. And that's the mind. And that's fine. But that's the mind. I'm here. I got to get there. Here, there. Healed, broken, right? But anyway, you got to do all this fucking stuff, <laughs> right? And you have to detach. So wait, how can I be doing a bunch of stuff to get my twin flame to be with me and detach? And it's always the same thing. Well, you got to do more healing. And you're doing it for you. No, you're perfectly clear that you're doing it for your twin flame. We're not going to play around with words and, and trick yourself. You guys, you can't bullshit the universe. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing it for me. Honest. No, 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 no. Really, really, I am. No, no, you're not. No, guys, you have to detach. And to detach is actually very simple. To detach from my twin flame is to detach from my mind. Only the ego mind can get attached because the ego mind perceives everything in the world as separate from itself. The word separation is not a relationship status with your twin flame, my friends. It's not a stage. It is a state of consciousness. You see... The teaching of separation and union and detaching, it doesn't come from twin flames, guys. It comes from the Zen traditions, traditional Zen spiritualism, genuine spiritualism, not the pop culture-y kind of new age, woo-woo spiritualism on the internet, right? Which is actually not spiritualism. It's psychology. And they put the label spiritual on it. And that's fine. I'm, I don't have any problem with psychology. I actually think it's great. And again, these are nice people most of the time. There's a couple of bad apples, right? But most people, they genuinely want to help you. No problem. But they're just confused, guys. And they're confusing you. And again, you ask the great spiritual masters, they're going to tell you the same thing. They're going to tell you these are good people, but I think they're just confused. You don't need to do that stuff. It's not spiritual. It's the mind. That's the internet for you guys. If you go research any topic on the internet, any topic you want to talk about, finance, politics, cooking, automotive repair, just anything, any construction, right? Any topic, you're going to get a bunch of opinions from people that don't know what they're really talking about, but they actually might really care and want to help people, but they're not, <laughs> okay? They're not helping you. I call them the helpful handyman. You know, like one time I hired a handyman who was a nice enough guy and he really seemed like he wanted to do a good job, but he was so inexperienced, guys, and he broke a bunch of stuff, okay? That's the helpful handyman. Nice enough guy, 
So these people, they're just confused, guys. They're nice people. I'm not trying to put anybody down, but guys, it's not that's not spiritualism, and that's not your soul. That's not twin flames, and that's not what these words mean. Separation, union, and detaching are states of consciousness. What I think happened, well, obviously, this isn't what I think. What did happen was somebody in the 1960s, 1970s, somewhere around there, Somebody was having this twin flame experience. They figured it out. They wait. They went, wait a minute. Your twin flame is your soul. I got to do soul stuff, not mind stuff. I got to do soul stuff. So I'm going to take the teachings of traditional Zen spiritualism, the true spiritual journey. I'm going to take those teachings, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay them over my twin flame experience and apply those teachings to twin flames, and correctly so. The teachings of separation, that's duality. I'll explain that in a second. The teachings of union, unity consciousness, that's non-duality. That's the oneness, right? It's the exact same thing. Twin flames, traditional Zen spiritualism, real spiritualism, same thing. That's why they started using these words. Well, what happened was later the internet comes along, gets a hold of these teachings and mixes it all up and mixes it all around and it gets all confused, right? Like a game of telephone. Do you remember that? Telephone, do you remember that game? So for those of you that aren't familiar with that, what that is is where the teacher in school, like elementary school, grade school, puts all the kids in a big circle and like 20 kids and the teacher shall like whisper a one sentence story into the into the ear of one kid sitting next to her and then each kid tells the story and passes it all around the circle and by the time it makes it back to her it's something completely different they call that telephone and the object of the game is to teach you about like critical thinking and also like gossiping too, I guess. There's a lot of life's lessons to be learned from the game of telephone. But that's what happened, guys. That's what happened to these teachings. The internet played a game of telephone with them. Okay? But you can tell somebody figured it out. Somebody figured out twin flames because they're using the teachings of traditional Zen spiritualism. If you hop on YouTube in incognito mode on your phone, incognito mode, what that does is it temporarily deletes all of your search and watch history from YouTube temporarily. It's called incognito mode. It's on your phone, on the app only, incognito mode, and you type in, separation consciousness my video here is the only twin flame video that you're gonna get now maybe somebody else i mean this was what january 8th 2023 when i published this video maybe some other twin flame coaches saw my video and were like oh my god that's great i'm gonna talk about that too and they posted a video too so check the date right check the date but you know, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It's just an idea. I don't care if other people talk about my idea, but that's what I'm trying to tell you, you guys. That's why I'm the number one twin flame coach. That's how I got here because I saw these teachings and I was like, wait a minute. And I've been talking about this for a long time. Um, there's other older videos on my true twin flame teachings playlist from way back. You know, maybe this video or this video, I don't know. Some of these older videos where I talked about that. You're not separate from your twin flame. You'll hear me talking about that, right? You're not separate from your twin flame. Separation is the mind. But um, this video was the first time that I ever made a video specifically about that. So whatever, it's fine. But here's my point. You're going to find one twin flame video, probably this one talking about separation and detaching and union, right? In incognito mode. And dozens and hundreds of videos from people that are just teaching like regular Zen spiritualism, transcendentalism. They're not going to be talking about twin flames. 
That's why you got to go in incognito mode because you've been looking at twin flame stuff on YouTube and it's all built into your YouTube algorithm, right? So you go into incognito mode, delete that, and you get a nice clean search result. You type in separation consciousness. And what I'm getting at here is you're going to find it's not a twin flame teaching, guys. Separation, union, and detaching. Or you could type in spiritual detaching, right? You're going to get the same thing. A bunch of teachers of traditional Zen spiritualism, not twin flames, okay? Somebody decades ago figured this out and superimposed the Zen traditions over the twin flame journey, and it worked. But again, the internet played a game of telephone with those words, and now nobody remembers what the original teachings were. But I can tell what they are. I've I've been a student of Zen spiritualism since I was at least 19 or 20 years old, guys. When I saw what people were talking about six, seven years ago, when I was in the runner chaser phase, like the desperation and the searching and the bawling myself to sleep every night and the obsessive thinking and all that. When I started to see what people were talking about online about twin flames, separation, union, detaching, right? I was like, wait a minute. That's transcendentalism. Why are they calling it a relationship status? Why are twin flames using those words in that context? It's because they're confused, guys. They are the helpful handymen. Nice enough people, but they're confused, guys. So no hate, no judgment. They're just confused, and they're confusing you, and it's not your problem, guys. It's not your problem. So this is the free stuff. Check this out. The True Twin Flame Teachings. And I'm going to start adding more videos to this playlist very soon. There's a wealth of free information on this playlist. There's also the Twin Flame Science Playlist. Yes, your Twin Flame is one of your past lives. If you want to know how that could possibly be true, come to the Twin Flame Science Playlist and watch these first two videos. Watch these first two videos. And as a matter of fact, if I was you, I highly recommend watching at least all seven videos on this playlist first. If you want to get started today for free, watch all seven videos on this playlist first, get through all of them, and then come over here to the True Spiritual Journey or the True Twin Flame Teachings and Cherry Pick Videos from these two playlists, right? Watch the ones that seem uh, like good topics for you. So watch all seven of these first, Twin Flame Science, and then I've got the True Spiritual Journey and the True Twin Flame Teachings. That's all my free stuff. There's also my paid coaching real quick. It's the best there is, guys. You come to my website, newworldallstar.com. You click here on... The Introduction to the Journey for Twin Flames. Click that and just sign up, guys. It's 44 hours of instructional videos. I give you action steps that you can implement right now to shut down the running and chasing, shut down the obsessive thinking, shut down the sleepless nights and the desperation right now. You'll start feeling better immediately within a month you're going to feel completely different. And then when you're done watching the videos, we get to talk on my group coaching calls. There's also the private Facebook community for paying students. We'll answer all of your questions. I don't just take your money and disappear. We comb through there every day and answer everybody's questions. And it's not thousands, guys. And I even have payment plans. I mean, if you think this is a lot of money, think again. The average twin flame coach is going to charge anywhere from $1,200 to $4,000, and then they don't even give you everything. And on top of that, I've got payment plans. I'll take the total package price and break it up into six payments, and you get instant access to the videos and the group coaching calls. There's three levels to determine the length of time that you get to participate in the calls. Guys, that's the deal. That's the spiel. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys out there. Have a great week.